What's up my fave babes? I am back with another video and yeah, I know y'all probably like, hold on, hold on, hold on. Where you been, sis? Well, long story, we'll get into all of that later. But another thing y'all may be saying is, girl, why your hair looking like that? Well, what I'm doing right now, as you can see, this video is a how-to make a wig for beginners or you know just a simple easy way to make a wig but my hair is like this because I already um was in the process of doing the breakdown but let's get into this video like <laughs> so the things you are going to need to start this wig is a wig cap some needles also t-pins but i don't have them here as you can see some thread and scissors and also you're going to need a paddle brush and a stand to place your wig head on but this is pretty much all you're going to need for um your wig to start your wig off here I have a 14 inch closure, 16, 18, and 20 inch bundle from Ali Pearl. I will be having the video link down in the description below. Here I'm just prepping the closure with um, some water, spraying it on there to make sure that all flyaways are not in the way when I'm trying to place the hair down on the wig um, cap and also on the head. So it's just to make sure that it's laying flat and everything is in the right placement for me to start sewing on the closure to the cap. Here I'm just showing my alignment of the closure with the cap and right now I'm going to show you how I have pinned it down to get ready to start sewing it onto the cap. But as you can see I don't have my T-pin so I had to use needles and thumbtacks to um, help with this process but I will be showing you my T-pins once I find them. So here I will be getting ready to start the process of sewing. So as you can see, I am using my medium size curved needle and um, my spool of thread. I use a curved needle because I am able to sew and grip the track easier when the needle is curved. I really can't do too much with a straight needle. It just feels kind of weird to me, but you can use any needle that you would like, whichever needle is comfortable for you. Also, I make sure that the thread that I use is a long piece of thread, so I won't have to keep stopping and coming back to um, getting more pieces of thread. So make sure the thread is long and make sure to double tie it in a knot and if you're not sure how to tie a knot look um at some videos or i can at least show you i think i'm showing you now how i'm going to tie the knot but if not i will definitely show you guys how i tie my knots to my thread but it's pretty simple So here I'm just starting off the process of sewing the closure down. I know you may not be able to see what I'm doing, but I will be having a close up on how I'm sewing it down in a matter of a few seconds. So stay tuned and watch me work. <laughs> So here I am just showing you what I have already done 
And I'm also going to keep showing you how I continue to sew the hair down. So I am finished with the closure and this is how it turned out. It is pretty much nice and neat. But um you know you just make sure everything is lined up perfectly and you move on to sewing the rest of the tracks onto the cap. So now we're gonna start by getting our longest bundle which is the 20 inch or whatever inch bundle that you have and we're gonna start brushing it out making sure that it is no tangles within the um hair and we're gonna take it a loose and start lining it up where we want it to be placed on the wig you can do this however you would like but as you can see, I had a problem with untangling the hair because I unraveled it the wrong way. But you know, we're going to get it together in a minute, sis. But yes, we will be placing our longest track at the bottom of the wig cap to make sure that we have the right length to our wig once the wig is finally finished towards the end. Here I'm just showing you my placement of my 20 inch bundle and now once you have your track in place you can start sewing it onto the cap. So here I kind of skipped ahead to show you guys how I am finishing off um, the top of the wig. And right now I'm just giving y'all a close up of how I am um, lining my hair up towards the top to make sure my um, tracks are laid down nice and flat so it won't be any bumps throughout the wig. Here I'm just giving a close up of how I ended my wig. I stopped the tracks right at the point of where I stopped at for my closure and it just gives it a smooth flat surface. So here I'm just going into um, the plucking process. Right now I'm just making sure that the wig looks nice and neat before I do anything so I'm just gonna spray all the flyways down to make sure that um, it's not extra hair that I'm plucking off that doesn't need to be plucked off but make sure to get most of the hair flat if not all and um, just you know make sure to keep all the hair out of the way that does not need to be plucked So here I'm just showing the square area that I will be cutting out of the cap so that the lace can show 
um, rather than having the cap up under the lace so it can give like a more natural look. So as you can see, I am going um, across the line of where I threaded the um, hair onto the cap, but you don't actually cut the line, you cut a little below the line to make sure that it is close enough but not too close to where the thread will come loose and then all the hair will come off of the wig cap but you just do this part of um, the process to make sure that you have a more natural scalp part for your closure so it won't look like it's actually a wig placed onto the cap if you get what I'm saying but you want your wig to look as natural as possible you want it to look as if it is a frontal or a nice looking closure you don't want it to look like it's a wig crazy I found my tea pants after the fact after I'm done with the whole week I found my tea pants when I've been struggling using needles like come on now like where was you at okay so now I am going to begin to pluck I'm gonna let you guys know now most of the time I don't pluck but I have come to realize after watching a lot of YouTube videos that plucking is a very serious step in finishing off a wig. You don't want to pluck too much. You don't want to have your parts looking crazy. You want it to look natural. And I can honestly say for myself that Plucking takes a lot of skill. So, if this is your very first time plucking, take your time. Draw out a line of how deep you want your part to be. Or, you know, just ha give yourself a guide. Because plucking, once you pluck that hair out, is no turning back. So, be careful in this step. But with me, I just kind of follow like the part that is already in, within the closure or um you know or anything that I have like if it's a frontal or something you know most likely frontals are just free parts but the hairline part as well make sure that you pluck enough for it to look natural but not as if you have just took out a whole bunch of hair just because you didn't know what you were doing so like i said with this process just be careful and if you are new to this guide yourself and make sure that you take your time and work slow on the plucking part okay guys this is my finished product i hope this video was extremely helpful to whoever was trying to learn how to make wigs on their own and um make sure to like comment and subscribe and give any feedback on what you thought about um the wig and if you have any questions about how to do some of the things that i did in the process of making this wig but thank you guys for watching this video bye